Alright, should be good. Sound is good. We are here to go. What is up, you guys? It's your boy Rob Hollow Avarice back again with another uh, reaction to some Genshin content. Today is the Genshin 4.3 live stream. Uh, we know we are going to be getting some Navia. We know we are going to be getting some Chevrous. That's all we know really so far. I've heard some leaks and rumors, but I don't really believe them until they're officially announced. Um, so, not going to say anything on that. But I, we're going to dive in right now and give this a watch. So, without further ado... Here we go. If you're interested at all in Genshin content and me playing Genshin, make sure you're following here on Twitch where I stream every update. Or you can uh, subscribe to YouTube where I got a bunch of stuff going on. Right now, we're just celebrating the 25 days of Games Miss. 25 games over the course of 25 days. It's been a lot of fun so far. Uh, so you can check the, uh, the VODs out here on Twitch or over at YouTube. All right, here we go. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. Uh, all right, let's do this. Okay, everyone. I assume that you know why we're here, right? I've checked the perimeter. The coast is all clear. All right, then it's time. Time to shop for the latest fashions at Chioria Boutique. Oh, Chevrous. Huh. Uh, don't you think something sounds a little Navia, off about T-Swift. Yeah, this is Chioria Boutique that we're talking about. I feel like we need something that sounds... I don't know, a little more extravagant, maybe? Mm. Uh, we'll have yeah. to talk about it later. The lights have been turned on and the audience is already here. The program is starting. Oh, Here we go. Um, hi. <laughs> Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.3 <coughs> special program. Yay! <laughs> this, this program is a work of fiction. As They're you can see, to the our show is sponsored by Chioria Impact. Boutique, one of the leading fashion houses in Fontaine. But before we go any further, let's take a moment to watch the version 4.3 trailer. We know the story's Kim done, operator. so I'm very curious what they're going to be here. That can be a pretty technical job. Are you really up to it? Ooh. Ooh. Starting with Navia 2. Wait, you put this no music. thought into finding a good camera Xavier's angle. Xavier's back. And the characters weren't it's in the shots. Directed by Farina. Ahem. Positions, everyone. <laughs> nice to meet you. I am Navia, the president, leader, commander-in-chief, executive director, and, and boss, boss of, of Spina Di Rosula. Helm of Radiant Rose. Hey there! That's so cool. Yeah! Using her umbrella as a weapon. Yeah. All right. Fellow That's what I've seen. I've seen that halberd. Fire. We have a friggin' cannon barrage! Alright! Cameras will start rolling as soon as the set is ready. Oh, Farina's really kicking things into gear as the director! Props and lighting set the scene. Actors can get their makeup done. Extras, go over your positions. Okay, so. Camera ready, Chiori. get the clock We've heard a bunch about Chiori! Actors, do your From position Kirana. lights! Camera! Action! So that's gonna be our first Let's experience with Chiori. Let's villain pay for the death of our mother! <laughs> You're just as naive as her. Did you really think two muskets would be enough to defeat me? Your crimes are evident. Chevrous, executor of justice. Ooh, ooh. The music is slapping. Drop your weapons. She's a spear user. She's using deathmatch there. Justice will prevail. Fire spear. Not bad. The actor's emotions were all on point. Let's keep that take. We'll move on to the next scene. Uh, you Did you really think you'd get away? Chevrous. You can keep your mora, and you can go to hell. Murder mystery. Excellent! That was beyond mesmerizing. Let's make a film that'll make some serious waves in Fontaine. Not the kind of waves that drown people. I mean, the good kind of waves. Roses and muskets. And Chiori's there. We've heard a little bit about Chiori, and there is... Again, I said I don't always believe rumors and leaks until they're officially announced. We've been hearing rumors that someone named Chiori, who was mentioned in 
Kirara's voice dialogue would be showing up. And there she is. And I, but the cute character model. I like the flower in her hair. I like the hairstyle. Yeah, I like the outfit. And Chevreuse looks really cool. A Chevreuse Ayaka murder mystery is fun. And it's all being set through the lens of Farina as a director. It's kind of dope. Bum, 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 bum. Welcome back to the version 4.3 special program, everyone. Navia having I'm a Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of Lumine, and today I'm joined and using by a Gunbrella. Hey everybody, I'm Brenna Larson, Penguin the voice style, of Navia, and a full president of the Spina di Rosula, and I'm Erica Lindbeck, the voice of Chevres. Yay. Oh my gosh, I'm so <laughs> excited. This is the first time we've had you two on the special program. So excited. Yeah. It's so mm -hmm. great. <laughs> okay, so actually um, we have a tradition on the program where we all get to sing everyone a little song. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. okay, nice try. I've seen the special programs before. You don't oh. want to sing a song? <laughs> Come on, T-Swift. I love song singing. About Listen. Genshin. I know. Genshin Impact. No, okay. Ooh, uh, back to business. Back to business. <laughs> okay, like we mentioned before, this program is sponsored by the Chioria Boutique. Chioria, so Chiori. Duh. Content from version All 4. Right. 3, there we go. We also wanted to get some inspiration for shooting commercials for the boutique. Mm -hmm. We don't want to let our client down. Yeah. And, and speaking of new content, we can't have a new version without introducing some new characters. Mm -hmm. As you already saw in the trailer, Navia and Chevros will be our new playable characters. Yay! Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I'm sure many of our viewers are already familiar with Navia after seeing her throughout Fontaine's Our Conquest. But who is Chevros? Mm, who indeed? Um, <laughs> She's the head of the special other investigation. I've already mentioned Chevros before yeah, in their voice lines, but um, Chevros will finally be making an official appearance in version 4.3. Nice. Yay. I'm so excited! Mm -hmm. so exciting. <laughs> I really like oh, their play Oh, by the way, what do you think of letting one of our characters from the new version take the lead role in our commercial? Oh, well, I mean, mm. if we're shooting a video for Chioria Boutique, then I think Navia would be an obvious choice. After all, Navia's clothing was designed by Chiori herself. Uh, Wait, Erica, that was actually a really natural sounding product placement for <laughs> Chioria Boutique? You're, hard, you're amazing at this. <laughs> I know, I know it sounds like product placement, but Chiori really was the designer who created Navia's outfit. She's a fashion designer. <laughs> um, next, let's have a look at her fashion show. Ooh, and by fashion show, we mean her, her character, character showcase. showcase. That's clever. I always say that blind optimism isn't the answer. If you want a bright future, you have to go out and seize it with your own two hands. Yeah, so cool. Using a friggin' axe is nuts, and then swapping into the this gun rubber. This one's got your name on it. And it's Rubber Santa from the Spina with Blood. I'm very curious how they. Again, rumors and leaks. We'll see if it's proven true. She makes use I'm of sorry, the crystallized reaction. Can we take a moment to appreciate how perfectly Chiori uh, customized crystal, Navia's clothes and accessories reaction. to reflect her personality? She clearly pays a lot of attention to the small details. <laughs> Erica, I love how seriously you're taking the sponsorship. <laughs> it's really great. It's important. <laughs> um, while we're on this topic, though, Navia's parasol seems pretty interesting. On the outside, mm -hmm. it looks like a delicate accessory used to block out the sun. Her but umbrella on the inside, is a sword. There's actually a secret firearm that can be used to ward off enemies at a moment's notice. It's elegant and fierce all at once. Just like Navia herself. <laughs> exactly. Show me the moves. Even when it comes to her enemies, Navia is not the type to eschew basic etiquette. So she prefers... When obtaining an elemental shard creating from crystallize, Navia will gain a crystal shrapnel charge. Based on the number of shrapnel charges, Navia will open her elegant yet lethal gunbrella. It's even called a gunbrella. Firing multiple Rosula sh uh, shard shots that can uh, penetrate opponents. I can't read the First, to maintain Sorry. appropriate distance while in combat. 
The more shards out to strike, the greater the Navia damage. Opens her gun That's cool. And fires multiple Rosula shard shots that can pass through opponents, dealing geo damage upon a successful strike. Ooh. For a period of time after using her elemental skill, Navia's normal, charged, and plunging attacks will deal increased damage and become infused with the power of geo, which cannot be overridden. Geo now, infusion. Navia's in combat, there are these little markings around her that look like bullets. I wonder if that's some sort of ammo for the Gunbrella? Oh yeah, yes, you guessed it. When a character in the party obtains an elemental shard created from the crystallized reaction, Navia will gain crystal shrapnel charges. Navia <coughs> will consume these charges after unleashing her cool. elemental skill. Her skill damage increases with the number of charges that she's accumulated. So the oh, more she has. Okay, okay, okay. So you're saying that Navia's elemental skill becomes more powerful if she works together with mm -hmm. other characters mm -hmm. in the party to trigger the crystallized reaction. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Navia's elemental verse calls forth the Rosula Dorada yeah. Salute, which unleashes a massive bombardment on opponents in front of her, periodically dealing geo elemental damage. I should also mention, the that Navia meteor will swarm. accumulate crystal shrapnel charges at certain intervals if she strikes enemies with the Rosula Dorada Salute. Ooh, now that salute is spectacular. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I heard that the Spina di Rosula likes to That's perform firearm really cool. salutes before important negotiations. You know, as a way to celebrate it future success. It looked like it had success. good uptime, too. Don't misunderstand, you guys. It's not an intimidation tactic at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's just the Spina's way of showing respect in the Hey, Twitch, how you doing? Way. Yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> Are you Not intimidating them? Yeah. at all. No. There are, there's, I've been having a lot of fun with the them. Spina di Rosula. They just, they've been a Navi little ridiculous. Navi is always trying to collect them, the latest intel but, uh, by exploring all corners of It's fun to get to try some new stuff. When Navi is dispatched on a 20-hour expedition in Fontaine, rewards gained will be increased. Okay, so we just mentioned that Navia is the president quest? of the cool. Spina di Rosula. So I think we should bring up Spina's contributions to averting Fontaine's prophesized crisis. Yeah, so I mean, far, my, my favorites have Navia's been leadership. Sonic Superstar exactly. and Endling. Some people even those lost their lives so during that disaster. But I'd like to add I'm Zoo, certain that Fort those Solis, events weighed heavily on uh, Navia, but Sable. she remained tough There's and committed to leading the Spina. Yeah. Yeah, and while we're on the topic of Fontaine's crisis, I really well, hope she gets something good during the story the quest. She's probably been still busy rebuilding everything, right? It's been I really bet rough gonna for Navia be occupied with that for a long few time. Oh, definitely. Chapters. That's something that travelers will be able to see for themselves. Navia's story quest, the Rosa Multiflora chapter, will become available in version 4.3. The Spina will be working diligently to rebuild Poisson. Though repairing the houses will be straightforward, the cool. emotional distress may be much more difficult to address. If you're curious about how Navia and her crew are going to proceed, then be sure to check it out. Oh, I'm and all so excited! Their father in, in yeah, the first I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. Okay, so now that we've introduced in Navia, it's time for Shavras to <laughs> be in the spotlight! <laughs> okay, I know that since she's a newcomer, you probably can't wait to learn more about her. So let's get right into it. Okay, um, hmm. It took How me a minute to get into Sable. Uh, first off, the, uh, Shavras is the captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol. It, it felt a, a little empty and boring, but once it started all opening sorts of up, difficult cases and dangerous criminals. Um, once, like, you, <laughs> she once the exploration like became in more pronounced, I started cause, to understand so what they were going to run into her, it's likely that you're in some it's sort of very, trouble. Like, it's a very self-driven exploration as game. As long as you're a law-abiding you citizen, the there's no areas, need to worry. Gets <laughs> Shavras is actually really easy to get along with I've gone back a little bit and a little more off-stream. And I enjoyed it. Oh, feastos are just the best snack. They're easy to eat with you and go with so many sauces. Did you just death watch from or death match? Final warning from the BP rewards. She shoots and then drops a weasel right sword. And see him. She dropped Clevians. Oh, her and Clee are gonna get along great. Um, what? That was so fire. <laughs> and I am not just talking about her skills. Oh. I could see it not being oh for everyone, gosh. though, the Look game. Look at her idol animation. I 
love that she loves snacks. Mm -hmm. That is so awesome. She's a girl's girl, and she gets it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she gets it. She really does. <laughs> She's not exactly what you'd expect from the captain of the special patrol, though, right? I guess that's kind of true. I mean, Chevers' work as a captain can be really stressful. I mean, I can't blame the girl for indulging every once in a while to relieve then? some stress. She even adjusts her training regimen to so make her up for her is gonna be the fire. Hours. In fact, she trains more than any other member of the special patrol. Her platoon really admires her for that. Wow, okay, she's got some willpower. That right. is awesome. She's really admirable. The special patrol prioritizes combat ability above Never all else. Genshin. So the organization like often attracts JRPG. some eccentric um, personalities. It's mm, yeah. <laughs> made by Mihoyo, the special patrol used Chinese, to have problems with but it is RPG and it's actually action-based combat, so it's not turn-based. The, the company made another <laughs> one, Honkai Star Rail, peers, and she's a formidable which actually fighter, won and she leads by example. best mobile game Though last night. Though she demands night, excellence from her platoon, game awards, she holds herself to that, even higher That's the turn-based combat. She always tries to be an example for others to follow, whether it's investigating action dodging shielding and it looks like a lot uh, of her skills once you get used to the combat in this game it's actually pretty fun. Be a pretty good shot mm-hmm for sure Chevros and her musket are basically partners in crime I hear you go. There's, uh, so there's this new character's she definitely complex. knows her way around a firearm yeah. Chevros uses her musket to fire at opponents during her elemental skill. Ooh. The For a past of time two years of this game have been skill, some Chevres of the best gaming I've ever done, though. HP They've been the phenomenal. All the Sumeru the and the new region. During her elemental burst, Chevros fires an explosive grenade with her musket, which will split into secondary explosive okay. shells upon impact. Haha, <laughs> impact. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wait, I you noticed that Chevros has bullet-like markings around her during combat. Can she shoot a special type of ammo? That's right. Chevros obtains an overcharged ball when a nearby party member triggers the overloaded reaction. Holding Chevros' okay, so elemental she'd be good skill with, will consume uh, this special ammo yeah, Nico, to unleash an Shogun even more powerful pyro attack that covers a larger AoE. This attack will also grant an attack buff to all pyro and Anything electro with continuous characters electro. in the party. Mm. Okay, so that's where the name overcharged ball comes from. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. maybe. Chevrus actually came up with the name herself. Oh. She was so, reading a novel where the protagonist believed that names held a lot of power. If you give something a cool sounding name, then you've given yourself an advantage over your enemies. That kind of logic resonated with her, I guess. Mm. Oh, well, I guess she has a point. Oh. I should also mention what happens uh, if Chevros is paired with all Pyro and Electro characters. If your party contains at least one character of either type, then triggering the overloaded reaction will cause an opponent's Pyro and Electro resistances to that's decrease. That's cool. Okay, right away, so my it mind seems is like Chevros could really shine in an overload team comp. But Fischl, I also did notice that Chevrus isn't John solely Lang, limited to a musket. Right she also uses the pole arm in combat. <laughs> okay, honestly, if I were a criminal, I feel like I'd be pretty nervous if she came after me. Oh, for sure. Be a really good combo now Most people who have something to hide avoid her like their lives depend on it. And maybe it does. Oh. <laughs> in all seriousness, do though, the, that's why Chevrus trains so hard. She has to be able to catch a wide variety of cunning criminals who try Tank to evade her at all costs. Fun. So when Chevrus is in your party, stamina consumption from sprinting is decreased. Okay. I'm going to put her on my exploration team with Yelan. These two new characters are great. Both of them would be great leads in our commercial. I don't know. It's so hard to choose. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I will make Roses this even harder for you. Just... Oh, no. We're about to take a look at what event wishes that travelers can look forward to in no, version 4.3. I want them to be on the same banner, but I doubt it. For the lead Navi is going to be on one, is about to get is going to be on the other. Bigger. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> in the first half of version 4.3, travelers yeah. can look forward to event Damn. wishes for Navia and Ayaka. A new five-star claymore, Verdict, will Damn, also be featured good. in the weapon event wish. In the second half first, of version 4.3, we'll have returning event wishes from the Raiden Shogun and Yoimiya. During this time, Chevrus will them. also receive so I'll, I'll a huge drop rate boost. Yay. Be sure to check them out if you're interested. That's awesome. Travelers can also look forward to two new artifact sets in version 4.3. Songs of Days Past and Nighttime Whispers in the Echoing what Woods. Do they do? Be sure to keep an eye on future announcements to learn more mm. about them. This seems oh, like not the perfect tell me. time for our first okay. break. We've shared a ton of information so far, and I bet travelers could They're probably going to post later tonight what all. they do. You're right. For <laughs> Definitely. Sure. Let's take a break while we take a look at the second, second group redemption of redemption codes. codes. The version 4.3 special free program stuff. is brought to you by Chioria Boutique and will return shortly. All right, more free stuff. Yeah, 
I know Genshin, it, it's not gonna be for everyone this game. MCT4PZ. Perfect. But uh, this, the storytelling, the gameplay, the music, the animations, the the narrative, the level design have just, every year that it's come out has just gotten better. They just passed their third anniversary. So this game dropped tail end of 2020 and it has just gotten better and better. Or was it dropped at tail end of 2019? Welcome no, back, everyone. Dropped, yeah. So, we thoroughly discussed our casting options for the Chioria Take part in this commercial. new event but to get the content of the commercial is also important, more? right? Do you and have any ideas? Hmm. That's duct tape. If we're making a commercial for Chiorio Boutique, then how about Super we invincible. include some event oh, footage God, of Chiori? Oh, God, it's like a cardboard oh, sword yay! and tape to keep Chiori it together. Chiori is actually going to appear in the event for version 4.3. She's going to be an upcoming character. Hmm. While the travelers have been able to see her store in the Court of Fontaine, we'll finally get to meet her in person. Yes, yes I know. Travelers can also look forward to meeting Ayaka and Ayato in Fontaine. Chiori suggested that they should stop by, so here they are. So cool. Hey, this is actually the perfect time for a word from our sponsor. An Inazuma-born fashion icon, Chiori. <coughs> Chioria Boutique is your one-stop shop for the latest and most influential fashion in Fontaine. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. Chiori is mm -hmm. acquainted with the Kamisato siblings because she's also from Inazuma. She actually introduced Ayaka and Ayato to Xavier and recommended that they make the trip to Fontaine for the Fontanalia Film Festival. So exciting! I remember that. Will you tell us more Xavier. about the Fontanalia Film Z Festival? I, I just call him Xavier. Oh, the Xavier Story Quest. The Fontanalia Story Festival Quest. was established to commemorate the legendary Lock Knights. According to the myths, they We've went heard on about a the quest to search the for the Oceanids the We've heard about and eventually them. welcomed the Hydro Archon Egeria to Fontaine. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're getting it's more Egeria lore. one of the most important lore. festivals in Fontaine. Like what the Windbloom Festival is to Mondstadt and Lantern Rite is to Liyue. Ah, so exciting! Finally, that's cool. <laughs> The Fontaine Film Association proposed the Fontanalia Film Festival earlier this year. And during this time, the public may submit films for evaluation. The entry with the highest score will be given the Farina Award by the association. Well, we can see Farina working with Ayaka and the others here. So wait, does this mean that there's a chance that Farina might win the Farina Award? I hope she does. Okay, she needs a break. Okay, now I'm intrigued. <laughs> Well, I'm more. sorry, but I'm gonna have to leave you in suspense. If travelers are curious about what Ayaka and the others are doing, I wonder if we're gonna get a part two of Farina's Farina story fared, quest. In you'll Fontaine. just have to play the event when the new version right? becomes available. Because hmm. with the exception so of Venti, we know that every... several friends from Inazuma will be in Fontaine for the Fontanalia Film Festival. But travelers have so much more to be excited about. Ayaka, travelers Ayato, will also have the opportunity we saw... to participate in a variety of activity booths during the festival. Of course, Each one will you gotta have, have your mini theme. games. Ooh. <laughs> ah, so cool. The first activity booth is the playing. Thousand Pace Interdiction Arc Minute Sharpshooting Zone. In this activity, travelers name. will use the special security and surveillance patrol simulation device to practice targeting and shooting opponents. Yep. Ooh. The special patrol wanted the, the public to experience mini -game. how fun target practice can be. <laughs> and the second activity booth is called Trick Shots Tricky Lights. In this activity, travelers will use the studio's special lighting effects to film a fight scene. Take advantage of the buffs brought about by the special lighting effects to defeat an endless stream of All opponents right. oh, and obtain a higher score. Just so cool. Those special lighting effects are really giving off old movie vibes. Combat events Obvious are always solid. Are also super smooth. Usually solid. It's There's been so a few duds. Oh, for yeah. sure. But not everyone is enjoying the fun and games. Travelers will meet a contract employee at the third activity booth. She needs some help with her demanding client. Yep. During the activity Extreme Drive, travelers will help her test out stabilization mecha balls. Look at how the traveler chases after those stabilization <laughs> mecha balls. Is this hungry, okay, hungry hippos? Contract employee can relate. This is hungry, hungry hippos. Down by that client. <laughs> <laughs> totally. You're trying to get them all into your thing. Mecha balls seem pretty ordinary, but they're actually very agile. They'll automatically avoid all testers by moving in the opposite direction of your movement. You can find jump boosters around the testing grounds. 
Travelers can use them to jump higher and further, which is perfect for quickly traversing to the other side of a stabilization mecha ball. Travelers in co-op matches will have to find a way to herd as many stabilization mecha balls into their target area as possible within the time limit. The more mecha balls dang, that end up in your area, the, the more points you'll earn. <coughs> the fourth activity booth is called Into the Frame. In this activity, travelers will get to shoot their own scenes by experimenting with different camera positions and narration techniques. Cool! Okay. We get to make a movie! That's yeah. awesome! <laughs> Travelers might remember helping out Xavier with some filmmaking back yeah, in Yeah, that Zuma, was a but this weird seems one. more professional. Wait, maybe this can be the inspiration for our commercial. Oh. Now that I think about it, a Fontanian man went to Inazuma to shoot a film. I guess international travel can be a source of artistic inspiration. That must have also Our been true in Chioria's case, Navia and since Paimon. she opened Chioria's boutique in Fontaine. Ooh, that could be a strong theme for our commercial. Actually, Ayaka and Ayato aren't the only Inazumans traveling abroad in version 4.3. Kuki Shinobu just arrived in Shinobu? the US for her class reunion. Yeah, and in Ito Liyue. decided to tag along as the boss of the Arataki gang. And oh God, is it he more brought beetle fighting? his Onikabuto with him. I think he plans to train his beetles for yes, battle. Yes, that was such wow. a fun event. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. That name is definitely very Ito. <laughs> right, for sure. And there was also a beetle battle event in version 3.4, right? Beetle mm -hmm. battles against a super powerful beetle battler. I believe his name was Grandmaster Hanakado. The little kid, mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Grandmaster Hanakado made an impressive showing during the last beetle battle event. Oh, is he back? This time, he's made the hey, trip Marilyn, to Beetle with today? Ito. It seems like the two of them have met a mysterious new beetle battle master. Ooh. What? Who is it? Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't give that away. Travelers will have to discover their identity. How are you doing today? Mm. Aside from meeting this mysterious yeah, so it's, it's beetle full battle on master, beetle battling. travelers That's can cool. also look forward to new ways is to battle. While the Sumero? movement and charge mechanics remain unchanged from the original event. Travelers can now also way. instruct Onikabuto to use guard to defend against electro bullet and jet stream attacks. Mm. Mm. Make use of the movement, charge, and guard strategies to topple your opponents Ooh. no matter oh, what I'm they doing throw really good. Master them, and you'll be ready to tackle the ultimate That's trial cool. of the strong. Uh, I've been <laughs> very excited to see 4.3. But I've also been playing a lot of new games. Travelers can look forward to encountering an old friend in the Fontanian the countryside. The mini are back. That's right. Ullman came to Fontaine, and he brought his treasure map and treasure-seeking Seelie along with a him. A new mini Seelie. Yay! Brilliant. Our <laughs> mini Seelie oh, friend is back. One. <laughs> he is so cute. Travelers can help restore the Seelie's vitality by absorbing energy from the locations that are marked on Ullman's treasure map. In return, the Seelie will guide us to the locations of buried treasure. After collecting ancient iron coins during this event, you can exchange them for cool. various rewards, including a mini Sealy in your preferred color. Can we buy multiple? Okay, so or you can only exchange preview, one. Oh, like man. Some of the treasure is located underwater, but when I first arrived in Fontaine, I discovered that Sealy couldn't follow me underwater. Is this treasure seeking Sealy different? Uh, that is a very observant of you. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> in this iteration of the Lost Riches event, a new <coughs> mini Sealy named Brilliance will be available. This new mini Sealy can travel underwater. Amazing! Cool. Yeah. Treasure isn't the only thing that you'll discover in Fontaine's countryside. You might also come across a mysterious domain guarded by a unique swordmaster who searches for the meaning of battle. During the Dance okay. of Resolute Will, travelers will get the chance to participate in combat challenges. Each challenge stage will contain two rounds. Travelers must select their party compositions before the challenge starts. Okay. One of your chosen characters must be used in both rounds, but no other character can be repeated. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's like After you complete a blade dance like objective that. during a challenge, you will obtain a heightened verve so build two teams Defeating around one opponents character. while heightened verve is active will grant you more points. And another old friend is returning in version 4.3. That's right. Lieben. It's Lieben. Yay! Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And if Lieben is around, then that must mean we'll have a chance to trade a bunch of items for Primo gems again. Ooh! <laughs> Exciting! <laughs> okay, so it looks like Lieben isn't the only old friend wow. we'll be reunited with in version 4.3. Several familiar faces will um. be joining the Genius Invocation TCG. 
After this update, travelers will have the opportunity to challenge characters oh, but around Senora Fontaine. Card. Ooh, a new Fontaine-themed table customization will also be available. But like, ah, Senora. I'm so excited to see players challenge some melusines. I know, so exciting. Mm -hmm. Travelers can look forward to the addition of several new cards, including six new character cards, plus five new monster cards such as Dvalin, Signora, and Ejdaha will be obtainable from the corresponding tavern Senora's challenges. A, a monster. But that's not all. The Forge Realms Temper event will also be making a reappearance, Look at her. and Look there at will her. be an update to the heated battle mode. Be on the lookout for future announcements. There's TCG content to look forward to outside the game as well. The Genius Invocation TCG Asia Invitational will officially begin in January oh, they're starting 2024. A real world. Wow. They announced mm -hmm. that we're getting a real world Travelers TCG. Travelers can look forward to some friendly competition between 16 of the top TCG players all across Asia. Cool. I heard they're some of the best in the region. So cool. Be sure to follow the Astro Carnival X or Twitter account to stay up to date on the latest news about this Ooh. epic showdown. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is all so exciting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, hang on to that feeling, because we're taking a short break to look at the next group of redemption codes. We'll be back to sharing more exciting information about version 4.3 in just a moment. All right, I'm this code. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I have been pretty solid. Uh, been getting a lot of streaming done. Oh no, this is a P, not a 9. Why did I write 9? PM. And they all have to be done tonight, these five codes, to get all the rewards. X hey, an extra 300 primos, I'm never gonna say no. Uh, but right now I'm doing my 25 days of games miss, where every single day I'm putting out a brand new game. Uh, I'm streaming a new game every night. Uh, a lot of them are small games that I've never got around to playing, like Abzu, Power Wash Simulator, Sable, Endling, but some of them are bigger games like Sonic Forces, Sonic back, Alpha Solus, we Sonic Superstar. a lot of content, and we've gotten a ton of inspiration for our commercial. Honestly, our more. promotion is definitely shaping up. Totally. But before Which we been really reveal enjoyable. our new idea, let's dive into the system optimizations that the project nice team has prepared for version 4.3. Okay. First, we have some artifact-related optimizations to introduce. With an ever-increasing yeah. amount of artifact sets to choose from, it's a mess. many travelers may Please have been hoping me. for a better and quicker way to filter and locate desired artifacts. I want the ability After to the version 4 .3 just update, automatically level can it check up. Check out artifact set recommendations for a given character Give me to an see what leveling. artifact sets active players have been choosing for that character recently. That's, That's cool. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! In addition, good. an automatic locking function has been added. Now, when filtering artifacts in your inventory, you can oh, lock the artifacts that fit your filter specifications like, hey, it has in HP batches. And it's With the a automatic sand locking HP, function, newly lock acquired it. artifacts that fit your locking criteria will automatically be locked when added that's to your cool. inventory. Oh, that's awesome. Travelers can have up to two preset auto lock plans for each artifact set. Hmm. Travelers can choose their own or follow the recommended settings summarized for active player data. Since it may take some time to collect the yeah. necessary statistics, new artifact sets will not feature recommended locking settings immediately. Okay. Yes. <laughs> of course, if you can lock artifacts in batches, you can unlock them in batches as well. Travelers Smart. can look forward to both of those features in the new update. That's not all though. What? Travelers will be able to sort artifacts by three different attributes. Plus, the artifact Good. enhancement screen will allow travelers to add a greater amount of enhancement materials at once. Yes, An enhancement finally. limit feature will also be available. Hopefully, these optimizations will not only make artifacts Auto easier to, to find, 15. but oh, also look at that. quicker to oh, level. Thank God. Be on the lookout for future announcements to learn more. The project team is always working hard to address your survey feedback. So, travelers should look forward to further artifact-related optimizations in future version updates. Improvements to Thank equipping God. artifacts and other artifact-related optimizations are all in the works. In addition, quest flow. the oh. project team has made adjustments to provide smoother ascension and enhancement experiences yes. for travelers. When you level up a character, enhance an artifact, or enhance a weapon, you no longer have to click so many pop-up windows. Oh, that's awesome. 
as a new mm -hmm. player using a few one and two that star materials true. to level artifacts, the whole process might feel a bit slow, especially with pop-up windows appearing. Totally. Mm. This new yep. optimization significantly reduces the amount of pop-up windows that we have to click through. This so is travelers big. I like can this look forward lot. to a much smoother enhancement and leveling process. The next optimization has made it easier to repeat domain challenges. Previously, travelers Dude, who tried to continue that fully. domain challenges yep. would be sent to the entrance of the domain. Mm. This meant they would have to run all the way to the center yep. to start the challenge. And but after this update, travelers who choose to continue in a domain challenge will load well, right, right next, next to, to the, the area where you actually start fighting, which is Thank amazing. <laughs> so happy farming, everyone. Ooh, this yes. should make it way easier for players to farm artifacts for Navia. Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure, definitely. <true. laughs> <laughs> In addition, version 4.3 has made it easier to clear your quest backlog. My quest backlog Archon is completely quest chapter empty. Two, Act 4, In the Depths, An Unexpected Reunion, takes place in the underground mines of the Chasm. In the past, travelers had to complete the world quests, Chasm Spelunkers, and the Heavenly Stones Debris. Heavenly Stones Debris was terrible. It was In a this bad update, quest. Travelers no longer need to complete those That's two big. world quests. Mm. Doesn't affect Instead, me. Travelers That's can really speak cool, directly though. to the miner who issued the commission to unlock a teleport waypoint. Oh. It will take them to the corresponding area and automatically trigger the next steps of the Archon quest. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. That's big for the dangerous quest line. This will quest hopefully line. make it easier for travelers to quickly progress through Archon quests. So cool. So that'll make it significantly easier for new or lapsed players to access the Archon quest and claim those sweet, sweet intertwined fates as fast as possible. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. Old, up or down, for upside sure. down city. Also, one click expeditions will be available starting in version 4. I don't do enough expeditions. This will allow travelers to claim expedition rewards and repeat expeditions with a single click. Travelers That's will also enough. be able to claim processed ingredients and forged items with a single click. Oh, sweet. That's going to make it easier to collect rewards. From there's a lot of quality Definitely. of life improvements. There's also a ton of other quality of life improvements in this update. There we go. For example, Optimizations have been made to enemy tracking with the adventure handbook That's and big. character selection logic during crafting and forging. That, that was in addition, useful during, when performing uh, mystic offerings, travelers will now be able to add artifacts in batches. There's a lot to look forward to, so be sure to check future announcements for more information. Okay, moving on from optimizations, a new Fontaine style realm layout will be added to oh, the we're giving the Simply purchase the corresponding items from Tubby to unlock it. Oh, it looks like an Ooh. aquarium. I know, right? <laughs> Travelers can use ocean currents to travel between the islands in this layout. That's Some islands beautiful. even have ponds the travelers can use to keep fish. It oh. looks like a cool underwater kingdom. It's just so pretty. Yeah. Oh, I'm and they'll be even prettier out. once travelers have the chance to make them their own. I'm so excited to see what everyone's going to come up with. the Fontanian Mansion? Mm, especially my friend's teapots. <laughs> uh, you just want to copy their designs, don't you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I knew it. I have another piece of super exciting news to share with everyone. Ooh, okay, I know, pretty. right? The annual Genshin Impact online concert, Melodies of an Endless Journey, is coming soon! Yay! Yay! For the 22nd. I heard this year's concert is going to celebrate Genshin's classic melodies in an entirely new way. Let's take a sneak peek at some of the amazing moments that this concert has in store. All right, so I guess we'll just get to chill and listen to music for the rest of... till about there, okay. Let's just enjoy some music, because again, Genshin does music phenomenally. Are they on Celestia? That's such a cool set. Sorry. That's a thing of beauty. Uh, I'm very excited because I'm going to the... So Genshin does a virtual concert and a live concert every year. I'm actually going to the live concert in January in New York. So I'm very excited about. Melodies of an Endless Journey, Scenic Vistas. Vistas, why did I say Vista weird? V. 
The 2023 Genshin concert held in Shanghai last September will also be online soon, so stay tuned, travelers. <gasps> Whoa, so mm -hmm. we have two online concerts to look forward to? Yep. Further details will be announced across Genshin Impact's official social media accounts, so be on the lookout for more information. At the I end play Genshin of music in the background all the time when I'm doing housework. Travelers also look forward to the release of the fourth Genshin Impact character OST album, Stellar Moments Volume 4. Cool. The album will feature 26 character songs created by the Hoyo oh. Mix team. Wait, we are finally getting I'll Hate Them and Wanders OSTs. Yep, <laughs> and Farina's song too. Her song All, All the, the World's World a Stage has, has already a been getting song. a ton of love. Yeah, oh, it's that's a phenomenally awesome. written song. Check out Marco Meatball's breakdown of it from like a very musical minded person. Just okay, well, that's all the new information we have to share about the update. So, I guess that means it's time for the version 4.3 special program to come to a close. And with the trailer Aww. again? <laughs> but we haven't even come up with a plan for our Chiorio Boutique commercial. Actually, we've already finished shooting it. You're right. What? The special program was a pretty good commercial. I'm certainly not going to forget the name Chiorio, Chiorio Boutique, Boutique after I said this. It times. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Oh my gosh, we really did cover a lot of important information today. For sure. The most important part is our final word from our sponsor, Chioria Boutique. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well. <laughs> just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, I just wanted to let everyone know that I'm so excited to be a part of Genshin Impact, and I cannot wait for all of you to I'm meet. I'm so excited to play as Navia. Hey. Totally. Navia Taylor I Swift up here. exactly the same. Can't wait to see more Navia in her fighting action. And <laughs> yeah. also, can't wait for little swimming sealies. Yes, they are so cute. So oh my cute. goodness. And I think the new mini games are really fun, especially the one where we get to make like a little mm -hmm. movie. It does yes. Look fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I'm just, just excited so for Beetle Fighting to come back. Beetle Fighting was so much fun. Program together. This has been so oh, much fun. Too. Really fun. And yeah. that's all we have for the version 4.3 special program. I hope that everyone's looking forward to experiencing all this exciting new content. I saw Zhang Li at the very end. Be very sure to curious. check it out when the update goes live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a goodbye screen. Okay, bye. Right. Bye. 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 You'll never forget it. It's burned into your brain. The Sun, Sun Jing, Sun Jing, Dry Museum, and Genshin Impact. With, Je with Daddy Zhang Li, look at him there. Oh, all right, that's an interesting a museum collab. I'm gonna end with just. Before we the, go uh, any further, let's take a moment to watch the version 4.3 trailer. I just want to watch the trailer one more time. That can be a pretty technical job. Are you really up to it? Navia, Melusine. I'm curious what the actual Wait, story no content is going to be. Is it going to be like a... Angle. And the characters weren't in the shot. Is it going to be an event? Is it going to be a everyone. epilogue story <laughs> nice for Farina? To meet you. I am Navia, the president, leader, commander-in-chief, executive director, Or is this going to be part of Navia's of story quest? Hey there! I love her look. Just her whole vibe is great. Ha! I'm loving the dope glasses. She's, she's wearing aviators too. I might want to put her on my Rocks Fall Geo team. All right, cameras will start rolling as soon as the set is ready. Oh, Farina's really kicking things into gear as the director. Props and lighting set the scene. Actors can get their makeup done. Extras, go over your positions. Camera ready. Right there, Chiori. At the clapperboard. I love her design. Actors to your position. Lights. Like Camera. I said, we've been hearing about Shuri Action. for two patches now. Or, no, we, we started hearing about her for the Kirara death of our mother. Back in, <laughs> back in 3.7. You're just as naive as her. Did you really think two muskets would be enough to defeat me? Your crimes are evident. Okay. Evident. The captain of the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol who wears justice is an ever-present seal upon her heart. Her musket shall only ever point at the guilty. All right, she's a four-star, we know. Yeah. Justice will prevail. She 
a regular shot that drops a, drops a Weasel sword. Not bad. And the then an arcing shot that explodes and drops mine. Let's keep that take. We'll move on to the old. next scene. Uh, you mean... Did you really think you'd get away? Chevres. You can keep your Mora, and you can go to hell. I'm so curious as to why. Excellent! That was beyond That's the Farina Award that we've heard about. Let's make a film that'll make some serious waves in Fontaine. Uh, oh, you know what? It's probably the event. The why are we the Fontalia event? I mean, Obviously. the good kind of waves. <laughs> So is it exclusively going to be during... Is it exclusively going to be a um, timed event? Like the Lantern Rite, like the Wind Bloom Festival, and this will be Fonta Fontanelia. Which is just a timed filmmaking event. I wonder if they're going to add a... Um, oh god, what was, the, what was the Wanderer's Quest title? But I think that came out in 3.4. So that probably won't, there won't be anything further till 4.4. I'm, I'm hoping in the next two or three patches, we're going to get a second story quest for Farina. But hey, the, you know, they're introducing Chiori. We don't really have a lot of Fontaine characters left either. We have Arlecchino, maybe. We have Sijuin. The nurse. That's really it. I, I can't really top of my dome think of it. We got Risley. We got Monsieur Nivellet. We got Farina de Fontaine. The House of the Hearth trio. Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet. Charlotte. Man. I don't know. So I, I'm wondering if Shiori is going to be playable in this patch at some point. I kind of, or not in this patch, in this, uh, in this version of the game, version four, before we get to Natlan. Maybe whatever Inazuma event they end up doing, she'll be made playable. Because we know Lantern Rite's coming up, then Wind Bloom, then it starts over. All right. But hey, you know what? Not a bad uh, trailer. There's a lot of really good looking stuff there that I am really looking forward to. Mostly playing as Navia. People have been joking about Taylor Swift and Genshin for years, or, for, or since her reveal, that she just looks like Taylor Swift, so I'm very excited to play as her. Um, and she honestly was such a heart and important character. Like she had so many soulful and impactful moments in 4.0 and 4.2 that you just felt for her. Uh, after the stuff with the, with the duel and the trial uh, was so good. Um, yeah, Chevreuse, I, I want to see a little bit more before I really care about Chevreuse. But I mean, I'll probably pull for Raiden Shogun to try and get a Raiden Shogun constellation. So I'll, I'll probably grab her for free. Hopefully. All right. All of that being said, I am very excited. Did they have a date? Did I just like zone out completely and they... Do they announce a date? Uh, when was... I'm going to the very end. I don't think they, they, they even announced a date on here. Check it out before the update goes live. Yeah, they didn't even put a... <laughs> that's great. Uh, Genshin 4.3 update. Uh, release date on the 20th. Okay, so 12 days. So just uh, under two weeks. Okay. No problem. So we will be here for that. We will be playing that probably day one or whatever the closest weekend to that is, the 20th. That is a Wednesday. I'll be busy the 21st. Then everything else is getting really holiday. You know, I could I, I have a half day on the 22nd at work. I could probably do it on the 22nd. Yeah, so that's I think that's what I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the Navia polls and all of that. All right. Well, I think that is where we are going to call it for now. 
That was a really neat live stream. I liked it a lot. Uh, the, the music just keeps slapping. Say whatever you want about that. They, I know that they lost their main um, musical director, but the music for all of this region has not stopped. I've li I, I have the playlist queued up, uh, and I play it on my TV all the time as I'm working. It's great. It's phenomenal. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Twitch, Marilyn, great talking to you as always. Um, have, you have a good night. I actually have to go out. I have a dinner in about an hour. So I uh, do have to start heading out. So thank you. Uh, if you're interested in watching any more games, I'm streaming every single day for the month of December for Games Miss. Uh, you can watch that here on Twitch or over at my YouTube. Yeah, that's it for this thing that I'm doing. Have a good one. Until next time, stay awesome.